may be controversial, but I don't like any of them. <laughs> Which sounds bizarre, because I'm the community show guy, right? You know, I'm promoting everyone's fan universes all on equal footing, and I can put them on equal footing because I don't like any of them. <laughs> Do I like my own? Yes. I can tell you why. It's not because of the quality, right? At least not all the time. Some, you know, could try harder, do better. But regardless of quality, I'm always hyper aware that it's a fan production. I find it so much easier to get engrossed in audio doctors, but even then, only when it's an established doctor and not an original. And I'm very sorry to all the people who I know and am friends with that have fan doctors, but you're not the real ones. Hashtag not my doctor. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's controversial to say, but fan doctor is just not my cup of tea. The fuck? Oh boy. <laughs> you done pressed the Jed button. Yeah, did not want to do that, laddie. I did not want to do that. So, obviously, first off, hi. I don't make videos like this very often on this channel. Or, or indeed videos in general on this channel. I've started putting music elsewhere for anyone who follows this channel. So, you know, if you're interested in that, go elsewhere. I will put the elsewhere in the link below. That's not what this video is about, but fuck it, whatever. I am about to defend the honour of Doctor Who fan film doctors. And I'm going to do that whilst dressed as a character from Star Trek. You can decide on how ironic you find that for yourselves. I don't really care. I think it's worth starting by saying, Mr. Reeves, nicest way possible. I have a great deal of respect for your energy, your enthusiasm and the content that you create. It makes you happy. That's fine. That being said... Of course it's flipping controversial to say that you don't like fan doctors. That is, I think, I think there's a thing that I've noticed a lot in this fandom in general, but like, especially it, it really strikes me as, as coming off really hard from what you just said, is you are really, you have, you haven't watched many, have you? Have you even watched Nick Scovell in, in The Millennium Trap? Have you even watched The Projection Room? Have you ever sought out a bootleg copy of the shit that Time Base was doing back in the 90s? Have you seen any of the formative stuff that kept the torch going? So for real, like, 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 all joking aside, you are absolutely 110% within your rights to hold this position. You are 110% within your rights to think that fan doctors are not good things or not a good idea or, or whatever. And, and to be fair, to be 100% fair, what you've actually said is you don't like them. Fair enough. As a blanket statement, I find that to be incredibly silly. Because how do you know you don't like them? They're just doctors. They are Doctors Who. Plural. Lots and lots and lots of them. Like, like, I can't, I can't realistically see a way of looking at Dominic Greenwood Martin on DW 2012 and then looking at Nick Scovell on Millennium Trap and then looking at Chris Hoyle in the projection room stuff and going, these are all exactly the same thing and I can tar them all with the exact same brush. Because you can't. Because that's not how that works. You know. Really, the joy of fan films and the joy of fan audios and the joy of fan creation, to me especially, comes from the fact that we're seeing all these people's beautiful, crazy interpretations of the character of the Doctor. And that, to me, is in, in many ways infinitely more interesting than just seeing somebody doing, with all due respect, a David Tennant impression, a Christopher Eccleston impression, a Matt Smith impression, a Tom Baker impression, because those are impressions of characters we already know. Whereas fan doctors are capable of giving us new perspectives. You talk in your video about new perspectives. Fan doctors have been giving us new perspectives since the 1980s. Jesus Christ, the first female doctor on screen was the late, great Barbara Benedetti in 1980s Seattle fan films. And you're sitting there saying you, you just don't like them. You prefer real, doc like, real doctors and stuff. Why? Like, okay, okay, again, your opinion, 100% entitled to it, but it betrays such a complete ignorance of the history and the breadth and the depth of the subject matter that I really do have to question if you were even thinking when you said it, mate. But it feels like you've not fucking watched anyone because you can't just dismiss them all out of hand when none of them are the same. 
all of them are beautiful and distinct and different and bring such wondrous characteristics to the role of the Doctor. And they all just get, just get sort of dismissed. You wouldn't have the Doctor Who you have today without these people keeping the flame alive. And some of the best Doctor Who stories ever told were told with fan Doctors. Some of the most diverse Doctor Whos ever have come from fandom. All right? The first black doctors were fan doctors. The first female doctors were fan doctors. All right? There have been queer doctors. There have been doctors from other countries. There have been doctors with disabilities. All of them telling wonderful, beautiful stories, which you yourself prize, because in this video you say you want more diverse voices. Yeah, cool. You're getting them. And you've just tarred them all with the same dismissed brush that you just don't like them. Okay, well, which is it, frankly? <laughs> like, sorry, this is very ranty, and, and I'm ranting on behalf of the beautiful, brilliant creators that I know, all of whom have done such wondrous work, and all of whom, frankly, deserve to be looked at more favourably than just, they're not playing the real ones, so yeah. So, yeah, 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 just, whatever. Whatever, you know, you do you. But, you know, I, I think this video, it's important that you sort of stop, reconsider that, in fact, yes, it is controversial to say that, especially when you clearly haven't seen a lot of them. And especially when there are such beautiful and brilliant stories that you're clearly not paying enough attention to if you're going to dismiss them all out of hand like that. And I think for somebody who's making something called the Doctor Who Community Show, it, it's actually a bit presumptive of you, frankly. Like, like talking, talking real talk for a minute here. As presumptuous as I am coming here and making a video response to your video, it's equally presumptuous of you making a, sh a show called The Doctor Who Community Show to then turn around and dismiss out of hand a massive, important, vital part of the community. Nick Briggs was a fan doctor. That's how Big Finish started. The people who founded Big Finish came from fan doctors. Nick Briggs was a fan doctor. Sorry, it's just, there's so much history that I feel you just casually dismissing. And yeah, fine, it's a 50 second segment of a very long video where you've got asked a bunch of questions. But dude, dude, read the fucking room. <laughs> just, yeah, um, sorry. This is not a fun video for you to watch, I bet. But yeah, do more research. I can literally put links in the description. I can literally hit me up on fucking Twitter or hit anyone else who knows anything about fan culture up on Twitter and they will send you a link to some of the best fan works ever made. And then I defy you to watch the Millennium Trap or the stuff with Barbara Benedetti and just dismiss fan culture out of hand, all fan films out of hand in that way. Again, I defy you. Do it properly. Do reaction videos. Pay fucking attention learn something about the history of the fandom, you know? Because, you know, it sounds gatekeepery to say, oh, these kids who haven't learned the history, but no, it's not gatekeepery to say that there is so much more to fan creators than it feels like you're giving them credit for in that little 50 second clip. So anyway, yeah, uh, you press the Jed button. This is what happens when you press the Jed button. I didn't shout at you. I've shouted at people before, but to be fair, you didn't do anything worth shouting. You just did something worth of a... Boy. So, yeah. Bye.